Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited for today's video. I have a bunch of brand new Bath & Body Works body care to share with you from their summer collection that is coming up very soon. So I think, I don't know if this is their first summer collection or if some of the other stuff they've had are considered summer. Maybe like that strawberries buttercup bellini thing was a summer collection as well, but yeah, we have so many new scents to go over. I am so excited. There's some really good ones in here. So this is pretty much all body care. I do have them a little bit early, but I think mostly everything should be launching next week, Sunday and Monday, like around the 8th and 9th is when we should be seeing these collections hitting the stores. I'm not sure in what order, if it if it's all at once or what. I think last time they only did like one summer body care collection and everything was like all at the same time. So maybe that's what will happen too since we have semi-annual sale coming up in June. I don't think they'll have another collection like in between there. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna kick off this video here with my favorite beach nights is coming back you guys this is so exciting this is a classic scent but that bath and body works used to do yearly and they used to repackage it a lot so they did it so much that i almost got sick of it but then they just took it away from us for like four to five years or so and now it is back again and i could not be more happier this is one of the best vanillas especially for summertime the notes on here are toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze s'mores accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla so a lot of notes going on here but this is seriously one of their best vanilla scents it is like super creamy marshmallow vanilla and then it has like a salty essence in it like that salt breeze that it has it has s'mores accord which i'm not really sure what that's supposed to be but it just reminds me of a creamy like salty edible vanilla and it's such a unique scent. There's really nothing similar to it besides one that I'm about to show you, but it's such a unique scent. Like, you smell it and you just know. It brings you back to when the scent used to be out all the time at Bath & Body Works. So I feel like it is true to the original just based on what I remember. It just really goes to show that if you are loud enough and you request it, Bath & Body Works can bring back your favorite. So I'm so excited to see this one again. Now, if you guys are like a really big collector, you guys may remember Vanilla Rainbow Sprinkles. This one came out, I think 2020. It was released in Canada, so it was a Canada exclusive. And then once COVID hit, all the Canadian stores closed. They sent these to the American outlet stores, basically. So a lot of people were able to get their hands on this one. And if you're a true like fan, you probably bought it off Mer Mercari or Poshmark. So this one is actually a pretty good dupe for Beach Nights. It smells the same to me, but I actually think the original Beach Nights has a stronger scent to it and it lasts longer than Vanilla Rainbow Sprinkles. Like this is a really strong scent. If you guys like those strong scents that you can smell throughout the day, this one really is that. I smell it all day on me, absolutely obsessed but yeah if you guys liked vanilla rainbow sprinkles you'll definitely want to pick up the beach nights they are pretty much the same but this one's even better let me go ahead and share another returning fragrance now this has a new name to it this is the vanilla confetti sparkle all dressed up for fourth of july and i saw originally this on life inside the page daily finds that's where i get all my bath and body works info any photos i post on here are probably her pictures she always has like the most up-to-date information and what's coming out so definitely go and follow her over on Instagram but I saw this packaging and I was like you know what I bet that is a repackage of confetti cake pop because it has the little cake pop on there here is confetti cake pop like they're super similar this one just has like the fireworks background and they do actually have the exact same notes so this is a repackage of confetti cake pop which is so awesome to see because we got to see the body cream and the lotion Last year, it popped up during semi-annual sale, but we never saw the mist again since 2020. So it's been a minute, and this is such a love scent because it's one of the best Bath & Body Works just creamy cake, kind of cake batter scent that they've done. The notes are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. It is just so good. This one's a strong one too, like it lasts on the skin. I did compare these side by side and they are identical so it is definitely a repackage 
for sure. I don't really think anything has changed. It's still the good confetti cake pop. But I do almost think the new one is actually stronger. So I'm noticing a theme here. But these just seem like really good quality, really strong scents. And I would definitely recommend picking this one up. It's like a delicious cake batter. It almost has like a coconut background to it. But it's so sweet. One of the bestest cake scents from Bath & Body Works for sure. So, so excited to see this one back again. My store only had the spray so far, so I'll definitely be picking up the body cream too. But I, I do have some backups already. And then we actually have this new fragrance. So this one is called Pink Watermelon Blast. And seeing this, I was like, wait, is this going to be a repackage of Pink Watermelon? Because it has both Pink Watermelon in the name. But they actually do have different notes. So the original Pink Watermelon has notes of Juicy Watermelon, Pink Petals, and Dewy Aloe. While the new version has notes of Juicy Pink Watermelon, Sugared Strawberry Blossom, and lime zest so they do have different notes and I do think they smell totally different to me but I used to think the original pink watermelon smelled like watermelon candy it was very sweet but now I'm kind of noticing that this one really is more tart and isn't as sweet as I thought originally because the new version is actually way creamier and sweeter and I like it so much more it's so good this one gives me like candy like candied watermelon starburst deliciousness more sugary sweet still has the tartness of the watermelon but it's just sweeter all around than pink watermelon is i'm really loving this new version so much you guys have to try it if you weren't loving the pink watermelon give this one a shot because i think it is so much better also in that same collection we do have returning firecracker pop i wanted to go ahead and mention this is the older one i did not need a new one quite yet so i wanted to show you the older version but firecracker pop is like your typical bomb pop kind of smell has notes of red cherry fresh citrus and juice berry it's such a classic now like I feel like this one has to come out every summer because it's just like this reminds me of summer it reminds me of 4th of July it's so good it really smells like that cherry lime you really get a nice mix of all those notes to smell like a yummy popsicle and we also have returning in that collection berry waffle cone again this is the old version but this one came out last year and people really loved it well I guess it was kind of a love or a hate kind of thing I do enjoy this one it has notes of sweet simmer berries golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla this one is just very sweet a lot of people think it's a little bit much. It can be uh, definitely like headache inducing if you're not used to these kind of sweet smells, but it smells really good. Kind of like a Captain Crunchberry cereal is what it reminds me of, or like a blueberry pie. It's so edible, <laughs> so good. So this one is coming back, but it's gonna be online only. So keep that in mind. I don't know if we'll have any other online only scents, but so far this one is an online exclusive. So that's it for like the 4th of July collection, but we do have even more stuff here. So next up, I want to talk about the brand new, I think this is one of their signature collections. I'm not quite sure. This is Summer Melody. Now I did want to mention all of these body care prices are $16.50, I think. Um, the creams are $15.50. I think that's typical for what they have been going for this year. So there's no like additional price increase but summer melody this one i say is signature because i think it's one that might stick around a little bit longer um and it is probably going to come in all forms like scrub maybe a body cream and a perfume so that's typical of the signature stuff but this one really is nice the notes on it are golden honeydew and bronze vanilla so it literally only has two notes which is crazy compared to beach nights which had like six notes in it but this one really is so pretty i am really loving this one I was wondering if it would be similar to like cucumber melon with that honeydew but it's totally different I'm really liking it though it's very creamy and sweet um, but it has like the fruity notes it actually kind of reminds me of the peach prosecco macaroon a little bit uh, just replacing peach with a honeydew melon instead but they both have a really creamy sweet almost vanilla dry down which is so delicious, at least in the body cream in this one. I could see it kind of being a sister scent too to Midsummer Dream. They're both kind of those just fruity and light, perfect summer fragrances. Midsummer Dream is also coming back this year. It has notes of salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily. I don't think it got new packaging though, but this one is a really fruity, juicy, 
fresh scent. I love this one for summer, so I'm glad to see it back. But yeah, I could definitely see these being sister scents and just the way that they sit on the skin and just remind me of summer. I'm loving this new Summer Melody. If it does come in a perfume, I'm totally gonna buy it. Look at the packaging too, it's so gorgeous. Okay, so next up we have this collection here, which is kind of more, I would say, a classic beachy. Reminds me of like Palm Beach for some reason, the packaging and stuff. Uh, it's just a little classier, I guess. So this is the Golden Ocean Pearl. I definitely wanted to pick this up since it was a new fragrance. This one has notes of bergamot breeze, vanilla orchid, and golden amber. I was definitely taken aback from this because it was not what I was expecting, but it kind of smells like something I already have. And I'll tell you what I think it is. So it smells a lot like Sunrise Woods from Bath & Body Works Fall. This one came out last year and they just remind me so much of each other. Now they don't have the same notes, but I'm pretty sure Bath & Body Works can put whatever notes they want on their scents. They both have a powdery opening, which you kind of smell and you're like, hmm, like what's going on? Do I like this? It's very cashmere, but then they both dry down more sweet and that's why they totally remind me of each other. I don't think it's an exact dupe, but it's really, really close to the fact that I feel like I don't really need both of these. Now the Golden Ocean Pearl, I feel like it's just very musky, very cashmere. It smells more just warm, more fall for me. I'm not really getting summer, maybe like a summer night. Definitely like a bedtime scent for me. And I do feel like it's stronger than Sunrise Woods is and it's more lasting on the skin. I do feel like this is a long lasting scent. Um, but I feel like Sunrise Woods maybe dries down a little bit sweeter. Cause it has like a berry dry down while the Golden Ocean, Golden Ocean Pearl has the amber dry down. But they definitely totally remind me of each other and I feel like you don't really need both in your collection unless you want something better. This one is definitely stronger for sure, the Golden Ocean Pearl. So I only bought that one in that collection, but I wanted to also mention they have some repackages. Midnight Swim is coming back in that collection. I was not a huge fan of that one. It came out last year and it has a very strong cologne scent. It's very unisex, so I didn't really care for it. The notes are blue waters, beach flower, and fresh coastal air. And I believe Hibiscus Paradise is also going to be in this collection too. I haven't seen a picture of it, but that one came out last year as a signature scent and it's okay, it's just very like coconutty. Um, it has a hibiscus flower background. It just was not my thing, but I guess a lot of people did enjoy it enough for them to bring that one back. I just didn't really feel like I needed it in my collection. But those are all the ones returning. And then we have one more new scent here. So usually Bath & Body Works always does a pride collection for pride month and usually it's a repackage, but this one seems new to me. I don't know, I have to do some research, but this is the Love Always Wins. Rainbow Waves. I love the packaging on this, especially the fragrance mist. It's like painting strokes. So pretty. So Rainbow Waves. This one has notes of sunny sangria, bright melon, and misty waters, which sounded like something I would like, but I don't know. I'm not vibing with this one so much scent-wise. I do feel like they wanted it to be a little more unisex so anyone can wear it, like girls and guys could wear it without it being too much of one or the other, which everyone can wear whatever they want for sure. It's very citrusy. I'm not necessarily getting melon. I do get a bubbly-ish note, maybe from the sangria. I can smell the misty water note in there that kind of gives it a depth that I feel like could be unisex for sure. It's not my favorite scent, but I did want to go ahead and share it with you. I do think a lot of people could like this one though. I'm just not really big on citrus. Citrus is not usually my go-to per se, but I did want to share that with you. So I think that is everything I have for all the new scents. I am so excited, you guys. Again, I think these are coming out not this weekend, but next, like, Sunday, Monday. We might even see them pop up online earlier. Do keep in mind, um, since these are summer scents, they do a summer semi-annual sale in June. It is coming up mid-June. I think June 13th is when it starts. They will have the summer scents probably half off or, like, $7, $8. I'm not exactly sure what they did last year, but they're gonna definitely be on sale, so, um... Usually that's gonna be a better deal than buying them at the buy three, get one free, which is what they've been doing lately. Or if we get, I think there's a new mailer coupon coming out 
hopefully it's a good one um, so that we can get a better deal on these scents but there really is some good ones for summer I did buy a couple of single wick candles too I thought I would just throw this in this video but they were doing a really good six dollar sale and I feel like lately the candle prices have just been crazy so I wanted to try the single wicks because they're a lot cheaper and I can obviously burn through them faster <laughs> um, which is definitely a plus because I have so many candles and I wanted to see what the throw is gonna be like so we're gonna test it out I bought white t-shirt because they only have white t-shirt in a single wick and it smells pretty identical to the body care in my opinion it's just so fresh like fresh laundry and then this is a new one they came out with for summer it is the blue raspberry snow cone well I guess it's not new like a new scent because they had this one last year but it's new this year so this one is so good this one also smells like a bomb pop but I get more of like the lime then the cherry like in firecracker pop i get more cherry this one's more like blueberry lime it's so good though and it smells like it's going to be strong i know the candle last year was pretty light so i'm so curious to see how these single wicks perform and if they're good even though i do have a small house so it might be good but if i love it i'm just going to continue to buy those because the three wigs are just getting too up there in price. Um, but there is like a chocolate banana mudslide one coming out that is going to be a must-have for me because you guys know how I feel about banana. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to go ahead and share these new scents. I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. And if you guys do get them, let me know your favorites. And I'll probably film another haul once I get like all the body creams, the lotions, and all of that. We'll see. Or I could just wait till SIS. We'll see what happens, um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.